Okay, so step number three, define field monitors. So for that, just come here, field monitor. Okay, far field, we will talk about far field. We will analyze the far field. If you need to obtain the gain and the bandwidth and all this kind of parameter for an, from an antenna, you will have to obtain the far field monitor. Okay, this is a far field, this is not near field or any kind of field. We need far field for this particular results. So, samples and um, for example, 51, well, too much, 31 could be enough for us. Can't say I was over here, over here, guys was in another project over here yeah there we go 35 31 apply and check it out yeah far field done okay step number four define cones solid okay there we go so now it's time to make some cones so for the moment cones like here escape and there we go there we go just copy and paste guys okay just follow my steps I already did it and if you look at this carefully you will understand why but those expressions are related with our parameters okay so Button radios, con this parameter, top radios, this parameter plus this trigonometric relationship between the angle and the height of the cone. Okay, here gap, there we go, and gap plus cone height. Let's check it out. Pack preview. There we go. Look at this guy. This is what we obtain. This is the cone, okay, where all those wires came from, okay? We want to we're going to obtain, we're going to model a cone over here and then we're going to apply and copy another one, a 180 degrees, okay? Below and rotate it. So, this how we model our first cone so for the moment cone one follow the expression you can stop the course you can stop the, the the video the video and just define take your time okay pack material and there we go press okay now secondly 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 let's see what do we got Okay, moving on guys. Now, step number five, define polygonal curve and circle curve. And later on, you will see, we will apply sweep profile tool, okay? To build the whole, the whole wire. So for the moment, polygonal curve. So for this particular step, we will follow, okay? We'll just copy and paste what we did, what I did before behind the scene, behind the camera, the, the recording to make it simpler, okay? But this is just a 3D polygonal definition, okay? So just copy and paste. This is what we're gonna obtain, this polygonal cure, okay? And later on, we will rotate, obtaining all those wires, okay? So copy number one expression cone and gap so come here 3d polygonal press escape and there we go serum past 10 paste there we go we got our first point second one so I will show you the whole expression Okay, like this, zero, this one, gap, zero, this one, and right, 
here there we go yeah look at this we are building okay we are drawing our polygonal as you can see it follows the same angle which is what we expect okay there we go continue zero zero um there we go zero zero i did all the job for you guys <laughs> so you just need to copy and paste but if you want to obtain a different shape a di yeah a different solid okay you can follow those steps but changing uh, the equation changing the polygonal points and you will obtain another different or you can also play with the value of your parameters okay which is the following step for the optimization so now point number four the symmetrical one as you can see here this is the same applying a minus so symmetrical at this axis okay no 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 right here zero symmetrical uh, we can just copy because it's the same height there we go look at it this this point symmetrical to this one but maintaining the same height okay now finally mm, 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 just to make sure yeah the same again symmetrically apply a minus and same height there we go there we go uh, where is my no 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 where is my point oh right here i forget to introduce that yeah now we are ready to go look at this what do you think quite easy don't you think okay cancel that because this is a good one and what we need to do now is to take a look here to draw a circle which mm, yeah we're gonna use that for the radio okay to build not a cube to build a yeah actually a solid okay with a width so why radius define what we did like this circle white radio and copy and paste the center white radius okay yeah there we go we're gonna now use a circle okay as we did bef uh, before so here copy and paste look at this this is what we introduced okay center cone inf radius minus wire radius okay and copy this one uh yeah there we go if we click here on preview okay you can look what you obtain there we go circle press ok now what we need to do to apply the sweep tool that we commented before is to have a common point okay between this curve and this curve so what we're gonna do now is to translate this one so select this one and select this one there we go select circle and transform there we go guys there we go there we go yeah 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 just to make sure i'm doing correctly uh, 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 let me see where is my circle defined yeah yeah it's okay it's okay it's okay i was right no problem no worry <laughs> transform there we go and press okay okay guys so we got our profile gear and also the profile that we're gonna sweep so select circle 
as you can see here let me show you sweep profile tour okay so seller circle come here sweep profile cure okay double click circle enter double click polygonal this is the profile to follow and there we go look at this look at this look at this beauty okay look at this guys look at this what do you think do you like it for the moment yeah i forget one step before what i gonna do now is to apply look at those edge i don't want that what i'm going to apply is a blender okay and let me see what it is here mm. where is where is that modify blend tool shape i don't remember guys I, oh right here right here blend curve so this is what we're gonna do for this particular case okay so just click over here blend okay select the point you want to blend and there we go here we got a blend radius okay copy and paste preview there we go much better now apply the same for the for the other point okay come here blend right there electrically okay electrically having this blend will do the effect of enlarging your antenna which gonna bring um, below your resonance frequency okay remember the higher the larger your antenna is the lower the main frequency resonance will be okay so applying this is a typical technique okay in order to enlarge electrically your antenna okay so press okay and yeah now we are ready to apply the swift tool so mm, select circle again swift cube there we go double click press enter and select polygonal this one and this one okay this one this one or let me see yeah there we go just double double click over the line and you are ready to go so this is gonna be called wired one do, do not delete nothing okay guys just maintain your profile curve and everything if you want to recover something you will be able to do that do not delete nothing so material will be packed perfect electromagnetic conductor uh, yeah press there we go this is what we get yeah, look at this look at this look at this this beauty hi now we, I will show you rotation okay what do you think by the way this is the first one you could apply also here a blend okay but for the moment I will leave it like that this is not too much ugly for me <laughs> so for the moment guys now wh what do you think we need to do now okay looking that comparing that yeah the answer is we gonna duplicate okay all those wires so for the upper side of your of your antenna actually and then we're gonna rotate 180 degrees okay to obtain the downside of your antenna 
of lower side. So, mm -hmm. 